touchbacks. Dante Jackson, number one, is the deep man. He takes it, and he takes a knee. Breaks into the secondary. Watch out. Now he's got a one-man convoy. One guy has the angle, and he does bring him down. It was Jonathan Jones who cut him off. Nevertheless, a 71-yard gain. So much for the passing game. Ha! One cutback, and he's gone. One missed tackle from the secondary. And I'm shocked he didn't get in the end zone. Receiver. Play action, option pitch, no. Harrison for touchdown. He faked the throw to Fournette. And then took the option himself. And LSU is on the board. He goes to the left side. Quick flip, little screen. He's got two blockers in front. And he moves it out across the 30, near the 32. Fournette is in the Wildcat. Will grab it and run this way. Boom. Is the, now he's down. First down at the 47, 48-yard line. It appears they are not coming. There's a twist defensively. Harris, he's got the ability to do this. And he is loose and out of bounds near the 10. Play action. Harris, he's got a man in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Colin Jeter, the second string tight end. Number 81. Toss. Left side. Wow. Wow. Five, six men up on the line. Is a run blitz. And Fournette just keeps his feet chugging and works it down inside the 35. Harris. Fournette. First down at the 26. He's over 100 now. Nine carries. And he'll get it along again and comes left. Fournette has a story about him and his family. His mom, his two sisters, his brother. Four nights and five days with thousands of others on the Claiborne Street Bridge in New Orleans before they got rescued and got out of there. And his is not the only story among the young men on this LSU team. High formation. Toss. Lead block from Moore. Fournette to the 15-yard line. That might be enough. It'll be third down. On third down. They got it. Big. Brandon Harris Big filled ball. the 45. For LSU instead of Auburn. And the toss to Fournette. Gets a block from the edge from his tight end. Which was really funny. Man. Oh, here's Fournette. One more wow. tackle to break. Wow. He did. LSU touchdown. Ford's effort on this play. He jogs across slowly and doesn't even lay out on the play. Blake Countess gets run over, but I can guarantee you when they're watching tapes, it'll be Jonathan Ford that hears it from Coach Muschamp. Inexcusable effort. Run by far the longest of his career. Toss right, Fournette. He's got two blockers in front of him. He's got a little speed, doesn't he? And he's down to the 41-yard line. And not a lot you can grab. Here's the toss near side. And Fournette gets around the corner. Look at him bull over the defender. That will elicit roars of triumph and adulation from this crowd that exceeds 90,000. By long-time LSU watchers and have been watching LSU football for probably 56 years. And they're 50, 60 years. And they've said they think that Fournette is the best back that's ever played at LSU. Uh, you know, there's a, a retired name up here on this stadium. But I mean, yes, it is. Embarrassment of riches. Here's Fournette, lead blocker. He's into the secondary. Spills that guy, sheds that one. Another touchdown for Leonard Fournette. Man, oh man. 
I got two thoughts that nobody's going to want to hear. Number one is, can you send in your Heisman ballot now? And number two is, you know he has to play college football another year? Because this yeah. guy could play at any team on any level in the NFL. He would be a star right now. I mean, this was like uh, the, the ball through the Matador cape right here. I do not blame Trey Matthews for trying to go high, but it didn't work. What a highlight reel. Time call. Walk on, clear the way with a great block, and then Fournette jumped to the outside. Look at that. A 230 pound running back. You know, Fournette, the deep back. Gets the pass, he's got a touchdown. 37-7. Oh, this could happen at any time, obviously, but this game is over. He takes a shot, looks like the helmet right to his knee as he flies up. Yeah, it looked like... He's run effectively twice. He flips it out right side, Trayvon Durrell breaks the tackle and has a first down at the 37-yard line. Play action. Left side completed. Geis is back on the field. He gets the toss. Runs into. Oh my goodness! He doesn't run, doesn't run into anybody. Look at that! My gosh! He's down short of the goal line, but what an effort! The explosive quickness. Oh look at this! Stroll in untouched. Brandon Harris touchdown. The game has gone into the 40s. Well, Fournette for the day, 228 yards. And uh, he's finished for the afternoon. This one's in the book now for the Napa play of the game presented by Napa Auto Parts. It occurred in the first half with number seven getting a block from John Dakin Moore. And watch this as he surges through White Countess in for the touchdown. That was a 40-yarder. Here's another look at the same play. The Napa Auto Parts play of the game. Coach, what a dominant win. You beat Auburn for the eighth consecutive time here at home, and you rode it on. The, you did it on the back of Leonard Fournette, who rushed for 228 yards. You said yeah. he was special, but how yeah, special? Yeah, the, uh, the, this, is a, this is a quality group of young men. They're really committed to one another and you know Leonard Fournette you know what a I mean you know all of the accolades and all of the descriptions that you can make of the guy I mean he's very very special